This is Dr. Julie Elner. You're watching Chapter 3 of my Belly Balloon presentation. We'll just pick up where we left off in Chapter 2. As I mentioned earlier, the belly balloon has been done for over 20 years. Over 200,000 patients worldwide have had the Orbera balloon specifically. It's been done in over 80 countries, and until now, Patients in the United States have had to go to Canada or Mexico or Australia to get their balloons. It's been researched for 20 years. There are over 200 studies proving how safe it is and how well it works. So finally, the FDA was bombarded with enough data and they finally had to say, okay, it's safe. It does what it says it does. There's no reason why we can't bring it to the United States. I'd like to just introduce you to a couple of my patients who have had the balloon. Sheila came to me because she watched her daughter lose weight in my bariatric surgery program. And her daughter heard about the balloon from just being in my office. And Sheila came in and said, you know what, my daughter's getting married next year. I really need to get my weight under control and I have an end point for my weight loss now because my daughter Ashley is getting married. So after her procedure, this is Sheila in the middle and of course that's her daughter Ashley the bride on the right hand side. Sheila was absolutely gorgeous and she had already lost 35 pounds at the time of the wedding. And of course because her daughter and Sheila were both patients of mine, her husband came to me at the wedding and he had tears in his eyes and he said, you have made my girls feel so beautiful. Thank you so much. And he gave me a big bear hug and it was wonderful because I got to see my work in action at that point. And both of those ladies were absolutely gorgeous at that wedding. This is Terry. Terry found herself unable to do the things she wanted to do with her husband. She had been yo-yo dieting up and down over many years and she and her husband are very active people. They enjoy going motorcycle riding as one of their weekend activities and it got to the point where she was physically uncomfortable getting on the motorcycle and she couldn't hike with her husband and do all the outdoor things that she wanted to do. So you see the before and after pictures there. She's down 46 pounds so far and she's a very active lady. Now she's back on the back of her husband's motorcycle. This is Paula on the left hand side of this picture. Paula has a little bit different story. Paula came to me when she was going through a particularly difficult divorce and she said, I spent the last 20 years of my life trying to exist in this marriage that just wasn't working and I haven't been taking care of myself because I've been focusing on my family and I want this next chapter of my life to be about me and I want to get my life under control now. And I was so proud of her just as a woman for taking charge of her life and not letting the divorce devastate her. So she came to me and said, I want to go into this strong. I want to have a new chapter of my life. And here she is in her after picture. She's down 46 pounds so far. And in the first few months after her balloon, she got a new job. She was really off and running. She's an absolutely beautiful woman who now feels energetic and feels healthy and is getting on with the next chapter of her life. Just in case you're wondering if even superheroes need a balloon once in a while, this is Naomi. Naomi came to me after losing most but not quite all of her baby weight. So she was down to needing to lose an extra 25, 27 pounds, couldn't quite get it all off because she hit the diet wall like so many people do. And she came to me saying, I just can't get past this. I've been trying for years. So she had the balloon within several months. She was down to her goal. And here she is last Halloween looking and feeling absolutely gorgeous. Her balloon is actually in place in this picture in case you're wondering if people can see it. And of course you can't see the balloon in her stomach there. So how do you move forward with the balloon? The total cost of the balloon is offered at a cash discount. It includes the cost of the balloon itself, as well as all of the fees associated with putting it in, associated with taking it out, the anesthesia, the medications that they give you during the procedures, and the entire year's worth of care. No matter how many extra appointments you want, you've basically prepaid for that entire first year. 
At this stage, as it's being taped, I'm actually participating in a research study as well. So if you're interested in participating in that, give us a call. A lot of patients do like to finance the balloons, so there are financing companies that are listed on my website. They offer financing for people who are borrowing the money for medical need. So they're giving you a better deal than if you just went to the bank asking for a loan to buy a new car or to put an extension on your house or something. Take a look on bellyballoondoctor.com and you can click on the buttons that are under the financing buttons and you can fill out their application. They do a soft check on your credit, not a hard check. So no matter how many applications, how many different amounts you put in to want to borrow or how many different cosigners you choose, you aren't going to be dinged on your credit for turning in multiple applications. So a lot of my patients turn in several different applications with different amounts of money and different co-signers to kind of see how they're gonna get the best package. So if you want to move ahead with a consultation, go to the Belly Balloon Doctor website and under the Getting Started section, you'll see the Health History Questionnaire. Fill that out, it's a standard questionnaire that you would fill out for any doctor's visit. Fax it back to the number on the first page and we'll give you a call to set up a consultation. You're always welcome to call the office directly and ask questions. I'd be happy to talk to someone who just has questions, even if you're not ready to turn in your health history questionnaire. Thank you for watching, I look forward to meeting you.